Hey everybody, Scott Woodward here, the L2P Network. Today we're going to be talking about the aluminum brass bridge comparison. This is part three of the three part video series. If you've been following along, the first two were me changing out the bridge on the four string Fender Squire and comparing the brass bridge to the aluminum bridge. This one, Hipshot was kind enough to send me a five string uh, aluminum bridge to replace the stock bridge on this one. This is my spare that I actually use on gigs, so uh, I want it to be a little bit nicer than I have. Uh, I got kind of carried away and took off my low B string, but we're going to do the comparison without the low B string and I am going to put new strings on there this one's fairly new and we're using the same uh, Ampeg Micro VR with the Ampeg uh, AV212 cabinets tone controls Set to flat, bass wide open, tone wide open. We're going to uh, change out this bridge, put the aluminum bridge on, put a new set of strings on there and see how it sounds. All right, here we go. All right, so like I said in the uh, previous videos, I wasn't too concerned about the finish on that bass. This one I kind of am because I actually use it on gigs. So I'm gonna put this little fender cloth on there. I'm not the most handy with the drill. Just in case. I end up scratch at the finish. I'll just do it on the cloth and not the finish. So we're going to take all the strings off here. Alright, so we're going to get rid of these strings. As like the previous one, we're not going to use the same strings because I broke one of the B strings. I broke the B string, taking it out. All right, here we go. Again, I'm going to use my handy dandy screw drill gun because I'm entirely too lazy to be screwing these out by hand. It will take too long. Now the hip shot bridge the four string was a nice retro fit. Didn't take any additional drilling, screws, or anything. I just pulled the old one off, put the new one on. <clears throat> Alright, so there's the old. Fender five string bridge. Well, these tail pieces are all kind of maxed out. I've had them up and they keep falling and changing. And I'm just not into trying to fix that. Now, here's the uh, four string bridge from the old four string base. You can see they're fairly similar, except this one's a little heavier. Alright, so here's the hip shot five string aluminum bridge from hip shot this is the A style if you're going to order one it's a direct replacement for fender just like that we're going to use the screws that hip shot sent 
fit right in there nice and tidy back on, set the torque down kind of low. I was setting the torque on four. So that's pretty much it as far as installing the bridge. All right, nice tight fit. All right, I'm gonna put these strings on. I'm using the Scott Woodward series of Sparzo strings, 45 to 130. So with this new bridge, all you really have to do is slide this thing in the end. Slide the ball in the end. All right, looks good. Okay, through the magic of video, we haven't had to suffer through me stringing this bass and tuning it. It's done. Bridge is on. Nice and secure. I'm sure it's going to need some minor adjustments as far as intonation and string height. It actually doesn't look too bad. All right, again, micro VR, Ampeg bass head with the Ampeg AV212 cabinet. Tone flat, bass wide open. actually a lot heavier than this bridge and in this instance I needed it to be a little bit lighter so here we have the stock Fender Squire bridge as opposed to the hip shot all aluminum a style bridge with a five string. It's definitely lighter. It gives it a more of a snappier sound on this bass, which I actually like. So that's going to be that for the five string install of the hip shot A style bridge. <laughs> 